right. Let me uh, say a couple of things that I think are extremely important for us to recognize now that our Grand Master is no longer here with us, even though I believe his presence is going to be felt by us forever. But I think that we need, and the whole world needs to give him credit for being the creator of great students. Ben Master Ed has single-handedly created a new style of martial art. Research. I've been to Japan, you know, in the subway, trying to find libraries and books and videos and with the help of, of so many friends and students who also provide me with so much footage and so many old books and, and eBay and looking at eBay and searching the internet and, and sometimes long hours without sleeping, just researching and reading. And I've come to a, to a conclusion about that. Look at the history of wrestling. If you look at judo, if you look at the judo is the old jujitsu, which they changed the name, you got to change the name into judo. You will see that in their sports, they created the pinning rule. Why did they put the pinning rule? Because their assumption is that when the big guy takes you in a in a pinning position, that you won't be able to survive unless you escape immediately. So in wrestling is a couple of seconds, in judo is 25 seconds. But the assumption is that you need to escape. When Master Elio disagreed with that, he said, I can stay on the bottom and survive through a very, <coughs> a very precise technique, a very precise strategy of defense. What's the story of him jumping in the shark infested water? Paul was pulling the guy up. No one was able to bring him into the boat. Someone had to jump into the water to help them, to put him into the little boat. But no one wanted to jump inside the water because they knew it was full of sharks. So he helped and then he, they got into the boat. They, they were coming back. He said, the guy, too slow. Get out, let me do it. No, he's rolling. So they rolled back. We spent two weeks, three weeks. I spent one time a whole month of my summer vacation living with my master Eddie. Anyway, we were waiting for his daughter in the bus station. She was coming back from school at night time. And I was waiting with him in the car in the bus station. She was going to arrive and we are going to take her to the ranch, to the small farm. We were going through the radio station. I was trying to find a radio station for him that he would enjoy. So I remember it was like a classical um, radio. He's like, no, I don't like that. And then the next station was Pump, Pump the Gym. He's like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit of who Grandmaster Master Elliot was. And a lot of people didn't remember Grandmaster Master for the fighting. I'm sure that's what he wanted, but there's some elements that I would like to bring up about him that few people know. His love of music, I don't know if you knew that when Master Eric played the guitar and played the harmonica. So that was something that was a great source of fun, not only for him, but man, many of the Gracie family members as they were growing up, he would get together in their mountain house in Venezuela and play with them. And I think something that is, that's extremely special also is his love for animals. When he was a kid, his, his nickname was Kashinele. Kashinele is a, is a type of squirrel. And if you look at the Wikipedia, it says that squirrels are clever and persistent. That's a description of their behavior. So we can even see why they gave him that nickname, 
Eu tenho uma filosofia, pode ser que eles não aprovem. Eu passar mais da janela e ver um tijolo na minha cabeça, eu agradeço a Deus. I have a philosophy that maybe you guys won't agree with, but if I'm walking in the street and a brick falls in my head, I thank God. Porque ninguém recebe o que não merece. Because nobody receives what they don't deserve. Quem ficar zangado com aquilo que recebe, vai repetir outra vez. If you get angry because something happens to you, it's going to happen again. Que aprenda a gostar do que não presta. Learn to like the bad things that happen to you. Para mim o bom e o ruim é a mesma coisa. For me, good and bad is the same. Se eu ganhar um milhão de dólares de presente hoje, eu fico feliz. Se me tirar um milhão de dólares que eu não tenho, mas se me tirasse eu ficava feliz também. If somebody gives me one million dollars, I'll be very happy with that. But if somebody were to take a million dollars from me, even though I don't have that, but if they were to take that from me, I'd be happy too. Eu não fico zangado com nada que me acontece, nem de bom nem de ruim. I'm never angry about anything that happens, good or bad. Porque a natureza não dá a ninguém o que ele não merece. Because nature doesn't give anybody what they don't deserve. E o que é de ruim que me acontece, eu agradeço a Deus. And even bad things that might happen to me, I thank God for them. Portanto, para mim não tem nada ruim, tudo está bom. And for me, everything is good, everything is always good. Training in, in the way he wants us to train, practice in self-defense, maintaining that fire alive, will keep him alive, his legacy forever. So it's up to us. Now it's on us. My dad sent us a letter, and it said that pick up the flag and run up the hill. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you very much.